So how do you know your backswing is in the correct position without thinking about the position itself? Ha! You wait and see. Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf at the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center in our beautiful indoor studio. And today I'm gonna to show you how you're going to figure out if your backswing is in the correct position or not. This is really important stuff. So I'm gonna give you, first and foremost, an intermediate point. So let's say, here's my ball, and I am going towards the white ping bag right here, right between Bubba and Brooke, okay? So, let's say I want it to hit a little fade. I'm gonna start at a little left of that intermediate point, left of the bag towards Brooke, and fade it back towards Bubba. So I'm gonna line up left edge of that intermediate point, play the ball a hair forward to center, and the club face is gonna be a little less closed than my draw grip. My draw grip, I'm collecting slightly open, releasing slightly closed. So this is a very strong grip. And then my fade grip is less strong, where I'll be collecting, slight, uh, collecting open and releasing slightly open. So when I let it release in that direction, does it feel like the face is going to allow me to fade back towards Bubba? OK, that's the key. So now, in my backswing, where do I need to go to allow this to happen? Well, let's look at, first and foremost, the takeaway. That feels like it's gonna go way too far left. That feels like it's gonna go way too far right. That feels like it's going left edge. You See how I'm doing that? So that intermediate point has to be in my immediate peripheral vision. So when I'm looking down here, I see that easily, and this allows me to find the initial takeaway that'll fit the direction I want the ball to go on. If I have a kid on a swing and I want the kid to swing towards you, well, I'm not going to take the swing, the kid back that way or this way. That doesn't fit. I'm going to have to reroute that if I want it to come towards you. So if I bring it back this way, it feels like it wants to swing in your direction. So left edge, got it. Left edge, got it left edge. So you see, from here, if I let it fall, it feels like it wants to fall in front of me, past my body, and in this direction. So if you're not sure if it fits or not, because you can't see it, but you can definitely feel it in relation to what you're trying to do. This is really key. So left edge, well, that feels like if I let it fall, it's going to fall behind me and swing way out to the right. That feels like it's going to fall behind me. That feels like it's going to fall too far left. So where do I need to be at the top of my backswing to feel like it's going to fall past my body and to the left of that intermediate point? Got it, got it, got it. And if you look at my backswing, you'll notice that I'm on plane and it fits the direction I want the ball to go on. So if you don't allow the body to turn adequately enough in the backswing, then I'm going to do the same thing here. Left edge. Yes, yes. But if I don't move the body, huh, uh, there, now, now the arm is crashing into my rib cage and everything gets diverted inside. And then I come around this way. So when you're trying to find these body parts, you don't realize that your backswing isn't fitting the direction that you want the ball to go on. For those of you who have had issues with slicing before and you say, okay, I have an over the top swing and my pro says I gotta take it more inside. Well, how much inside? you need to know because you could definitely go way too inside as well. So what determines the right amount is the intermediate point 
and the direction that you want to start the ball on. So if I'm doing my fade, left edge, left edge, if I let this fall, yep, there it is, left edge of my wet paint sign. So you notice how impact was solid. So left edge, left edge, let it fall to the left edge. So that felt like there was zero manipulation to make and everything was moving in the direction that I wanted to start the ball. So if I wanted to do the draw, same thing. So let's say the ball is back left. Back left is the ping bag. I take dead aim straight to the ping bag, play the ball a little bit back in my stance and get behind the ball. Now it feels like I can start the ball to the right of that intermediate point and with that slightly more closed face, it's going to impart that counterclockwise spin that's going to start the ball at Bubba and draw back to the right side, the right edge of Brooke Henderson's poster. So, yes, that fits. Yes, that fits. It feels like when I let it fall, it's going to fall in that direction. That's way too inside. If I let that fall, I'm going to take out my pinky toe on the way to a scuff and then skull the ball way right of my target. So for those of you who tend to push the ball, be aware of where you're taking the club in your backswing. If I take it back here, how am I going to start the ball to the right of that intermediate point towards Bubba? Well, I'm going to have to reroute. And then you better be aware of that intermediate point as you reroute and go in that direction. So that is going to require a nice reroute to come back versus I'm just going to go wide in that direction, let it fall. Now it feels like I'm staying with my target throughout the whole swing. So it's way easier to have a nice beeline and it's, it's actually very easy to determine if your backswing matches the direction you want to start the ball. And that's pretty easy to do. Now, another way to, to, to look at that, and you're going to see this in, in future videos, imagine if I had a sword in my hands and I wanted to cut through a bamboo shoot in front of me. Well, if I want to cut slightly upwards, it would look like this. If I want to cut slightly downwards, it would look like this. So this dandelion in disguise here, all I want to do is cut through this dandelion stem to the right edge of that. That fits. Still does, still does. Still does. You can even hear, as I came through, I caught that nice plastic tee in front versus my fade. That feels like it wants to go left. Still does, still does. Still does. And that felt like I had my fade flavor in there. So, how do you know you got the right backswing? Does it fit the direction you want to start the ball? That's the key. That's how you stay with your shot. Enjoy.